Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're going to do singles reads this week. I haven't done singles reads in a couple months, so I thought it'd be good to do that. I don't know what I've done with my eyes to have done this, but I look cross-eyed tonight, so that's a lot of fun. Hmm. Not loving it. All right, let's see who's up first. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel so we can reach a broader audience. Ah, Leo, I think you guys were first last week too. That's really crazy. All right. Um, okay. Let's go in. Remember, Leo, this is a general read. Flip it, flop it, toss it, turn it, take it any way you want it. But if it does not resonate, leave it and I'll post you on another video. All right. Can I get six cards for Leo, please? Six cards for my single Leos. Let's do three more. Two more. Two more cards, please. Something turned over and now they're so lost. There we go. What the fuck? Where'd they go, guys? There's one. It was just one. Okay, one more card. Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, fuck. I hate it when they hit the floor. <laughs> oh. All right. In your past energy singles, we have the devil, the two of swords. And the Knight of Wands. So I feel like in your past energy, you um, kind of obsessed over somebody who broke your heart. And you try to, you know, move in very quickly. And I'm not loving the angle. Let's try that. Oh, that's much better. Um, so yeah, you moved in very quickly. And it, I don't think it turned out the way you expected. You kind of had a plan and it, the plan did not go through as you had expected. In your current energy, you've got the two of wands, the emperor and the hierophant. I think you're, you're being far more picky now. Like not picky, but you're, you're not settling. You, you tried that. You tried to make something work that kind of didn't feel exactly as it was, as it, you felt like it should. And you tried to make something out of nothing. And now you're, you're like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm never doing that again. Um, unless it's a hundred percent what I'm looking for. I don't even have the time of day for it in your immediate future. You have the nine of wands, the page of wands and judgment. I feel like something's coming in. Hold out for what feels right though, because when this page comes in, he will court you. He will woo you. It'll be sweet and passionate all at the same time, but it's going to feel right. It's going to feel like that uplifting feeling that you've been wanting from that person. It's going to be very, very fulfilling. Very, very fulfilling. All right, let's get some advice. Can I get advice for Leo, please? Advice for my single Leos? Oh, now they're all mixed up. Damn it. All right, so the advice that they gave you guys is 
the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. They're telling you that make sure that you're not the one putting in all the hard work in this new... I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is you guys and the Queen of Wands is this new person coming in. That doesn't mean that I'm only speaking to my male Leos. That means that you will be in a in that that like worker bee provider type of energy when this person comes in and they will be very um very passionate and very uh very strong willed when they come in. It it doesn't mean doesn't mean gender by any means. But when this new offer comes in, you have to make sure that you're not the one putting in all the work and there's no sneaky behavior going on in the background, which can sometimes happen in a relationship. As a Leo, we tend to put everything we have into that relationship. I've always said that when I start a relationship, I come into the relationship and I treat the person exactly how I want to be treated. And slowly over time, I start treating the person how they treat me. The problem with doing this is it's not fulfilling for me not to be 100% authentically who I am in the relationship, but then I start to get, I start to see myself not being, not getting what I desire from the relationship. And I'm like, well, fuck you. You're going to treat me like this. I'll treat you like that. Maybe you'll, let's see how you like it. What I've come to realize is we all treat each other the way we want to be treated, right? That's what our parents raise us to do. Treat others the way you want to be treated. So then when we do, if you come across somebody who's like me, who's like, well, fuck you. I'm going to treat you how I'm, how you're treating me. They're like, perfect. But now I'm not being treated appropriately because they're still not fulfilling me the way I was fulfilling them when I was showing them how I wanted to be loved. Does that make sense? Make sure that that doesn't happen. All right. Can I get a Raven's Wand Oracle card for my single Leos, please? One card of advice. One card of guidance. No, one card from the Raven's Wood Oracle deck. Advice. Advice, guidance. One card, please. One card, please. Thank you. Independence. Isn't that funny? Make sure that within this relationship you can you you each keep your independence. You each keep those parts of yourselves that are important to you. And can I get one moon ology card, please? Thank you. Nothing is yet set in stone. Manipulable moon. Yeah, let's move that. Maybe you can see it better there. All right, Leo. This is what I have for you. I hope that this gives you some guidance. And uh, I hope it finds you with love and light. And until we meet again, blessed be Leo. Good night.